Are you a real estate agent struggling with running a successful real estate business that has a pipeline full of buyers and sellers and regular closings you can count on? Well, in this video, I'm going to share nine of the common mistakes new and newer real estate agents make and how you can avoid them, which in turn will lead to that consistent pipeline and those closings I spoke of. Hi, my name is Jan O'Brien and for the past 29 years, I've been living my passion as a real estate coach and trainer and also as a realtor and team leader. Our mission with this channel is to educate, inspire and coach real estate agents to achieve your dreams and goals of running a truly successful real estate business. We share real world best practices and strategies that will positively impact and increase your business. So if you're new here, Please hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you will not miss any of our videos. So let's get to it. The nine common mistakes to avoid as a real estate agent. Number one, I call it the getting ready to get ready syndrome. This is probably the most common mistake new agents make saying something like, you know what? I'll start prospecting and working with buyers and sellers once I finish this training program. And then once I finish that training program, or once I learn more about the business, Listen, I remember how it felt as a brand new agent. Yes, it was a while ago, but I do remember. I hated that feeling of not knowing everything, feeling lost and worrying that I would mess up the transaction or worse, get sued. The bottom line, you must get comfortable being uncomfortable. You have to find this delicate balance between learning and actually doing real estate. Definitely attend all the available real estate training you can handle and get out in the real world, in the field, and put what you learn into practice. The best way to learn is to just jump in and start working with buyers and sellers. By the way, if you're looking for a complete online training and coaching experience, check out our newly launched Real Estate Sales Builder program. The link is in the description below. We also have two free mini courses you can get immediate access to on the fundamentals of running a real estate business and business planning and goal setting, go check it out. Mistake number two, not lead generating one to two hours per day. I know it seems obvious, right? But after 29 years in this industry, I'd have to say this is the number one reason why. 75% of new agents are out of the business within the first one to two years. Here's why most people who get a license are just not willing to do what it takes to be successful in commission sales. And that is to simply always be attract attracting and nurturing business. I'll say it again, always be attracting and nurturing business. I call it the ABCs, always be connecting. Lead generation encompasses a variety of methods, starting always with your sphere of influence. These are the people who you know, and you can build a repeat and referral business just from the people that you know as you continue to add people to your sphere of influence to more traditional methods like farming and mailing and door knocking, cold and warm calling. You can work expireds or for sell by owners. Open houses is where I definitely recommend as a newer, newer agent that you get started. It's the easiest way to get your business up and running, uh, whether you're brand new to the business or you are moving from one area in to another uh, area to uh, even more modern methods like online lead generation and social media marketing. You know, there's something for everyone, but here's the key. You have to discover what you're good at doing and what you enjoy doing. And then you have to do it consistently and you got it. It's five days per week, at least one to two hours. Mistake number three, not using a calendar or appointment scheduling system. So choose an online calendar that syncs with your CRM your email and other tools. My recommendation is to use Google. I'm a huge Google fan. Use the Gmail and the calendar option and all the other tools that come with all things Google. You must use time blocking in your calendar and design and stick to a successful schedule, which you guessed it, includes one to two hours of lead generation at least five days a week. You can take your business to the next level in customer service and use Calendly or some other appointment booking system. It really will make it easy for your clients and prospects to book appointments with you while you can still control your availability. Common mistake number four, not mastering your client relationship management, your CRM. 
A good CRM is the foundation of every business. And when you use it properly, it's like having a virtual assistant. You must leverage the power and the automation that comes with a real estate CRM. Please, I'm begging you, learn, master, fall in love with your damn CRM. I promise you, it will be the best commitment that you can make to yourself and your business. It will have the biggest overall impact. Uh, just ge generating and leveraging what you can do in it with a good CRM. Number five, not knowing the local market and housing trends. To become the trusted advisor and the agent of choice in your market area, which I hope is your goal, you must know the local market inside and out. This means becoming a student of the housing stats and trends. You have to know the inventory, the floor plans, the neighborhoods, the community amenities, all the types of homes and price ranges in your market area. So this is what you do. You start by logging into the MLS daily and just checking the stats. See what's new on the market. Start there. You can look at homes. You can preview homes online. Then get your butt up and get out. Start previewing properties uh, if you're new to the business or the area. This is what I'm currently doing. I'm a seasoned Nevada realtor, 29 years in the business who moved to Wesley Chapel, Florida six months ago. You better believe this is exactly what I've been doing. I've been researching the MLS, previewing resale in new home communities, driving all over the place, taking photos, taking notes so I can become that trust, trusted local expert in my new hometown. Mistake number six, not finding your specialty or your niche. Don't try to be all things to all people. When you're new to the real estate business, it's very important that you try all the major lead generation strategies, all the ideas that you're going to come across in your brokerage so you can discover what works for you and what you actually love doing. It's the only way to do it. But then I'm a firm believer that specialists always do better in their careers than generalists. Think doctors and attorneys. Your niche or specialty must be something that you're truly passionate about and can be anything from a demographic group like veterans, seniors, or first time home buyers to a type of property to a geographic area. All right, mistake number seven, not communicating enough with your clients. As a longtime broker, this was the number one complaint, bar none, I heard from clients. The agent did not communicate with me. They did not keep me informed. They took my listing and I never heard from them again. You name it, I've heard it all, all right? And you have to live up to what the client's expectation it is of you in communicating with them. And that's what's the most important thing here. You have to know that. You have to know how your client prefers to be communicated with. Do they want you to text, call, email? Is it a combination of those methods? Providing exceptional client experience, this is one of your goals and it's paramount to you getting a five-star client review, which is then going to lead to new repeat and referral business. And effective communication is a huge part of the overall client experience. Common mistake number eight, focusing on your commission before the deal is closed. Hear me loud here. This is the biggest mistake you can make for your business if you want to get all kinds of roadblocks coming your way. We call this commission breath and people can smell it for miles. Do not, not, not focus on the commission. Do not allow your self-talk to say, oh my gosh, I need this commission so I can pay the mortgage or pay the rent or pay my bills. Because inevitably when you focus on that, this is when the universe has a way of, of sending things uh, to block your commission from uh, happening, bottom line. Focus instead on taking care of your client's needs first and foremost and always. Be their trusted guide through the entire complicated home buying and selling process. When you do that, you will find there are just less obstacles and a very smooth transaction. And that brings me to common mistake number nine, not running your real estate as a true business. You know, you are a business owner. You're an entrepreneur. You're not just a salesperson. When you make this major mindset adjustment to being a business owner, everything changes. You'll make better decisions regarding your business and work toward creating effective systems and procedures that get consistent results. And at WBNL Coaching and through this YouTube channel, we are dedicated to teaching agents how to be the best in this real estate business. All right, there you have it. Nine common new agent mistakes and a few tips on how to avoid them for your real estate business. 
make sure to subscribe and click that notifications bell because I'm going to be diving deeper into all these common challenges with specific strategies to implement for your business in some upcoming videos. And if you have topics that you would like us to cover, uh, just drop a comment in the, in the comments. Um, see you next time and thanks for watching.